Hello, I'm Rukaya Siddiqui. Because insects, like cockroaches, live in the filthiest places where they come across superbugs, it makes sense that they must possess some powerful molecules to defend themselves. And that is exactly our hypothesis, that cockroaches possess antimicrobials. This work has been highlighted throughout the worldwide media, Science News, BBC and other media. If you type cockroaches and Naveed Khan, who is my mentor, in Google UK, more than 50,000 websites come up, which suggests the public interest in this field. So let me explain what has been done. Cockroach brains were dissected out as well as other tissues and tested against superbugs, MRSA and neuropathogenic E. coli. We were surprised to find that just one microgram of crude brain lysates can kill more than a million superbugs. The plate on the right shows bacteria mixed with the solvent. On the left hand, you see the bacteria mixed with brain lysates. Presence of brain lysates wiped out all bacteria. The major problem at the moment uh, is infectious diseases and we have uh, more than 14 million deaths annually worldwide. And I think the worrying thing to me personally is that these numbers have remained significant despite our advances. And even more worryingly, that some of these bacterial pathogens are developing resistance against many of the antibiotics that we have at our disposal. In the last five years, there has been only one new antibiotic approved by the FDA. Yet we are seeing increased number of infections due to superbugs. We hope that our novel research will lead to the first antimicrobial compounds from insects that may have the potential to save thousands of lives, especially in the developing countries. These compounds can be synthesized in the lab into cost-effective treatments. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you.